On this channel, we absolutely love high performance radio control vehicles, and we accomplish this from a well defined power system. One of those components is our lithium polymer battery pack. But the problem here is manufacturers or brands of LiPo batteries will often place a C rating on the front label that is misrepresented. And because of this, we started testing batteries so we can see the actual amount of power that we get out of a battery pack instead of a misrepresented <laughs> number on the the label. Hey everyone, in today's video, boy do I got a good one here for you today. Now I probably have said that in many of my most recent videos and that's just because I'm super excited to bring all of these videos to you guys. We're going to be doing a performance review comparison across 17 different batteries that we've tested here on the channel. Just before we get started, thanks a lot to the many Patreon supporters who help support this video. You know who you are and this is the type of videos that we're able to do and I know that it's benefiting the community a lot. Let's now jump right into our very first chart here which is going to be based off of performance. Now we're gonna start off with a few performance charts that talk about the same thing and it's largely if you are looking for the absolute best battery pack in terms of performance, you'll wanna focus in on exactly what we're talking about here. Our performance driven index, which is this very first chart that we're showing, is made up of 80% our performance metric and 20% our cost metric. So we do have a small portion of cost in there, but it's not really affecting things too largely as its weighting is rather small. So now I wanna talk a little bit about the numbers that you're seeing. What we do is we have a dynamically changing value here, which is changing every day that the price changes, these values change. If we add a, another pack in here that performs very, very good or very, very poorly and becomes the new minimum or maximum, all these values are also going to change because it depends on the range. Now, I'm not gonna dive into the very specific formula here. However, if you're a member of the battery benchmark tier, you're gonna be able to download a copy of this spreadsheet here for yourself so that you can ultimately take a look at the formula that's driving the results here and change it if you feel that you want to see what happens if we do a 70-30 split or maybe you add some other metric in there that you want to pay attention to. What we're going to do here is we're going to focus in on the top three or four and also look at the bottom three or four and take a look at how those shift around as we move through all the different charts. So in the top three spot that we have here on our performance driven index is the SMC SRD V4. In number two spot is the Azure Energy Solution 5000 milliamp power pack and in the third place there is the CNHL G plus 5070 C pack coming in at last place here is the Z5200 hard case 120 C pack the Yumi pack I believe this was 5050 C and Turnigy rapid which is a 5100 C I do believe so those are the top three and the bottom three. Now let's take a look at our next performance driven metric, which is looking at weight instead of cost. However, in this particular chart, there is cost subbed out for weight and we give it a 50-50 weighting. Top three here is the SMC SRD V4, Azure Energy, Ovonic Car, and now we even have HRB. So we got new contenders here in our top four. In the bottom three or four comes in at number the last place here is the Traxxas 25C, I believe because this one is quite heavy for its size. This was actually a 2S pack and I'm gonna talk about the anomalies when we do come across them. So the Traxxas, I couldn't find a 25C 4S pack at the time and I found a 2S 5800 and that's what I ended up bringing in in its place. So it's a little bit of an anomaly there. However, I still wired it up and did a performance analysis based on that pack being in series with another pack to create 4S. I also minimize the wires so that we can get good performance out of it. Second last place there comes the Z pack and third last place is the Turnigy Rapid. Now if we go and take a look at our next chart here, this is now being able to take a look at performance and translate this into a speed run that is done on the road. So if we take a look at first place here, 
This is, again, the SMC SRD V4, 5,000 milliamp hour, coming in at 160 kilometers an hour. This is like 99 miles per hour. We are one kilometer an hour short of hitting 100 miles per hour. A weird way to say it, but here in Canada, we are bilingual, not just in our languages, but also in our units of measurement. We are often saying things in different units all the time. So 160 translates into that value there of a 99 miles an hour. Now CNHL G plus 6,000. I didn't have the 5,000 milliamp hour pack. However, the 6,000 I did get this tested and the video is coming out hopefully somewhat soon. I've already recorded everything and have this one done. It's just in queue, waiting to be released. Comes in at 149 miles per hour. So do keep in mind that this is a thousand milliamp hour more than that 5,000 that we saw here in the previous chart. So a second anomaly here that we see within the data, but this also allows you to see where things place. Third place here, we have the SMC HCL high performance pack. And then we have in fourth place, the Genzace GTEC 5300 coming in at 139 kilometers an hour, SMC HCL EC. This is their economy pack from SMC coming in at 136 kilometers an hour. We got the Ovonic car that we did see coming in at 132 kilometers an hour. And then the Z 120 C 5200 milliamp hour pack coming in at last place, 128 kilometers an hour. So now when you go back and take a look at the performance driven metric, you can see the difference between the SMC here delivering the top metric value versus the Z coming in at 128 kilometers an hour and the vast difference in power and performance that you get. That SMC in this specific run was putting out two times the amount of horsepower for our system. That is considerable. You don't see it in the actual speed difference here, but the amount of power to go that much quicker is significant. And that is one thing that I really want to emphasize here in this video. Now we take a look at our next chart here. This is a balanced performance cost value index where we take the performance and we give it an equal weight to cost, which is going to change things up now and give more value to the cost side of things. We look at the top three here, we're getting the CNHL G plus pack coming in number one by quite a decent margin there. Second place is the SMC SRD V4. In third place is the HRB pack power. And in fourth place, we have the SMC HCL high cycle life, high performance battery. Shifting gears to the other side here, we have the Spectrum Smart Battery coming in in last place, followed by the Genzace GTEC at 394 points, and then Z at 408. So we do see Z being bumped up a little bit, and that's largely because of the cost of these specific batteries. The Spectrum is insanely expensive, and it's the new you know, high for price point of all the batteries that we're testing here from what I remember. The Genzase GTAC is also an expensive battery pack relative to the amount of performance that you're getting out of it. So that's why these things drag way down on the end here and come in with low numbers, especially that spectrum. It was very much similar to that first metric where we saw the Z battery coming in with a very small number just because the performance side of it has been very weak. Well, now in the case of our spectrum battery pack, we have very weak numbers because of the cost. Now taking a look at our next chart, this is now prioritizing costs with very, very small weighting given to performance. That 20% performance weighting really is not gonna do too much. So we're ultimately looking at a battery pack that's gonna give us good value and we're not too worried about performance. This is gonna be great for a basher style radio controlled vehicle in the sense where our top three here is gonna be, again, the CNHL G Plus comes in the number one spot, the Turnigy Rapid comes in the number two spot. This is a good one because the Turnigy Rapid is being sold still. It's been on the market for quite some time and the price has come up considerably, but it still is the number one cheapest pack that I have in my entire list. So love to see that stuff happening there. The HRB power comes in third place and that Ovonic car battery comes in fourth place. Now taking a look at last few places here, we have, look at the massive difference here. The Spectrum Smart Battery, again, because it is so expensive, it's like in a totally different world, on a, living on a different planet in terms of cost, you could really see it stand out with an 87 score relative to the next, you know, lowest being 345. That Spectrum Smart Battery, last place. Gen's Ace G-Tech, second last place. 
Azure Energy comes in third last place, and then the Admiral Battery Pack, that's sold, I believe, on the Motion RC website, comes in fourth last place. So if you're looking for something cheap that still has a little bit of performance, you're gonna wanna hang out on the left-hand side of this chart here. This is going to get you a very inexpensive battery pack, but it also has some weighting on a small amount of performance. Here's a list that I tossed up on the screen here. If you found a battery in the graph or chart that you really like and you think, oh, that would be a good battery pack for me to look into further, this is where you'll be able to find more of the specifications, including the capacity of that specific lithium polymer battery pack, the C rating, the weight in grams. This came right from my direct measurement of weight for every single pack, as well as the cost in USD. This will allow you to look at the exact specification of the battery pack so you can go out there and find it if you are interested in it. Just keep in mind the things that we can't control and that is going to be the cost of the battery pack. It can go up in time or it can go down in time as well. I did see a couple batteries that actually went down in price. Another thing that we can't control is discontinuation or rebranding of a battery pack if it appears under a different label. and of course, the stock or inventory count of your brand that you are looking at. Well, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It took a long time to collect the data over the years and now get to the point where we can actually show what the batteries do. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button because we're doing battery videos every single month and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.